Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And just FYI, I am recording this video before the 3 Diamond Houston Prime combo video. So hopefully I got something good from that. Uh, if I did, go ahead and check the video out. I'll leave it in the link in the top right corner of this video. But yeah, there's double mileage still. I wanted to get to that today with some vintage combos. I also have packs to open up. Finally, we'll be getting to some of these packs after waiting for decades. Uh, is what it seems like, but we'll be doing 60 premiums and a couple other miscellaneous packs. Also have one team selected diamond pack, obviously going pitcher to get a better bullpen arm. Uh, Byung Hun Kim, Derek Lowe, all that good stuff. Also have one premium skill change ticket to do on Drew Pomeranz, just in case I get slow starter or any other good black diamond skill, I wanted to use it on him. And if we don't, that's okay, because we have green tickets to use on him as well. Uh, bullpen day is a good black diamond skill. I could get better, but I'm gonna stick with it uh, from what you guys said It's uh, usable enough to where I can uh, Use green tickets on it. So I'll be doing that and then last but not least the main highlight of this video will be great increasing my Kevin Euclid prime He is all ready and set to go 20 out of 20 good looking train This is probably the best train or near perfect train that I could get him even though it's 14 to the right side High speed is really nice just in case I get the barrel it up bonus so yeah, looking forward to all that today. So let's hop straight into it with the packs. We'll start off with the silver packs as usual. Not really looking for any primes on this team. We'll just do 10 of these silver packs. And also I posted a poll on whether or not I should do special training in the videos. You guys said, a uh, majority of you guys said it was really close but a majority of you don't want to see special training. So what I plan on doing in the future uh, concerning special training is only showing the times when I actually get them to the le next level. Uh, I understand it can be kind of boring sometimes, but I will leave that poll up. So if you guys want to go ahead, go ahead and check the community tab on my homepage of my channel, and you guys can go ahead and vote there. All right, let's get into these premium player packs. We'll do 60 of them. I'm going to say we'll pull at least two diamonds from this. Also, if you haven't checked out JFish's and AK's Gaming's channel, they just had a couple of live streams. I've missed a couple of them, but in the previous one with AK's, he... Wow, what can I say? In this past live stream, what a way to top off that video. Go ahead and check his channel out. I'll leave his link in the description box down below, as always. And I also have other YouTubers that you can check out as well. But not looking like we're getting anything good from these premium packs. So far, just a couple of golds. Don't really have any upgrade material that I can work on. Uh, yeah, no diamonds so far. Not looking, not looking too pretty. With the SIG pack, I will be doing that next week with the mileage. Um, since I'm doing vintage, combo, vintage combos with double mileage today, uh, there will be a SIG pack next week. Hopefully I can record it next week. And it doesn't look like we get any diamonds, so unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a SIG pack next week, and then I have enough SIGs to do a SIG combo. So stay tuned for that video coming up in the future. Alright, let's do 10 ultimate player packs. Hopefully we can get some diamonds from these. Alright, there we go. Let's see. And we get 3 diamonds, so that made up for missing on the premium packs. Let's see who they are. All right, and we get an Anthony Rendon, 18, very nice, looking at his base there. Another, uh, sorry, a very good Mark Melanson. I actually have that. I used to have that card before. And a decent Mark Canna, so these cards aren't bad at all. Checking out their skills, nothing too special, but pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the premium skill change ticket on Drew Pomeranz. If we don't roll a Legend skill, that's okay, but... A better one like slow starter or fireballer would be nice. slow starter or fireballer, but uh, would be nice. But we don't get anything there, so we'll stick with bullpen day, and we'll use the green tickets on him. All right, looking for finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher, last boss, any one of those skills. Giant crusher is not going to do it. I didn't end up purchasing the uh, package with the uh, green tickets and blue tickets. Uh, I currently am in a 
sort of a financial predicament right now. I'm not in a place to spend money that much. But there's cleaning up your mess, pitching machine. Decent, but I'm not going to stick with it. I want something better than cleaning up your mess. Last one. Two golds, ace, dominant pitcher. You know what? I'm going to have to stick with that. That'll work for now. May end up using blue tickets later on, but I'm satisfied. Now all I have to do is retrain him for the dominant pitcher bonus. And I'll consider that a win right there, guys. Looking very nice. Alrighty. Let's do this. Great increase ticket. Kevin Euclid. And I'm going to make a call, guys. Watch me pull a Red Sox signature next week when I do the SIG combo. Or the SIG pack. And I'm going to get really, really psyched up because I used this on Euclid. Anyways, sorry for making you guys wait. Let's do it. On Euclid. Great increase him. Finally, I've been holding on to this card for so long. There we go. Full diamond now he is let's look at the skills he came with oh, it was all the way in the back here barrel it up pinpoint strike in it over yet not good enough but let's hold off on him for now and do some vintage combos and all these collections that i'm getting since i haven't opened up packs in forever all right doing a couple of vintage combos can we get a legend. We have not pulled a legend on this account before. Alright, now all these vintages are... Sorry, all these normals are clogging up my inventory. Alright, three silvers, 700 stars. We get a Lawn Borg. That's how you say his name. Lawn Borg, yep. But not going to be any of any use to us. So we'll combo him away. Next three. Reed from the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll combo these three, next three silvers, and we'll do one more after this. Hollins, and then, all right, we'll do a diamond, a gold, and a silver. Uh, wouldn't advise doing this, guys, if you're a, a less developed team, but I'm just gonna do this for the sake of, I don't really care for any of the cards. I don't really need vintages or team vintages at the moment. So let's do this combo. And we actually get a diamond back. Okay, really nice. A smiley. Checking out his skills. Nothing special, but he's a decent Pirates card. Not too many good Pirates cards in the game, but that's probably one of them. Alright, let's top this video off with some... Skill changes on Kevin Euclid, and hopefully we can roll something good within these 26 skill changes that we have. Hopefully it doesn't take as nearly as long uh, as it did to get good skills on Brandon Workman. That took forever in the last video. And I don't want to use all these skill changes up, so looking for two gold skills. Slugger Instinct Spotlight, you guys know the deal. Alright, come on baby, let's get something good. A Specialist, Laser Beam, not gonna happen. If I roll something decent, I'll end up doing a skill storage uh, opening on him. Just to see if I can get anything else. Nothing there. Triple bronze, triple ones. That's literally the worst thing you could possibly get right there. Not seeing too many good things, guys. Haven't seen charisma yet either, which is not a good sign. Triple threes, but nothing. Spotlight, a specialist in all ones. Batting machine, nothing. Slugger instinct, nothing. Master Base Thief, down to 7 skill changes, Laser Beam, A Specialist, haven't seen Charisma, I'm kind of disappointed, there's Barrel It Up, Training Junkie, there's Charisma, a lot of triple ones, Slugger Instinct, Barrel It Up, okay, he's totally not going to get the bonus unless I put him in the lineup. So let's put him in the lineup and then we'll open up a skill storage. Throw him out with real Muto. So look at that, that. Yeah, he's totally not getting the barrel it up bonus. So open up skill storage with him, 500 stars. 
All right, we'll use the last three skill changes on him. See if we can get anything good. Where are they? Right there. All right. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Where is he? Oh, he's in the... There he is, battle line. Okay. Prediction, Slugger Instinct. I'm definitely going to change them eventually, but let me know, guys, which one's better. <laughs> These are two very mediocre skill sets. I'm going to change them eventually. But yeah, what's better, Prediction Slugger or Barrel It Up Slugger? You won't get the Barrel It Up bonus for sure. But Prediction Slugger Instinct might work out. And Professional is not a bad third skill at all either. But yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the signature pack and signature combo, possibly next week. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And also go ahead and check the description box down below for extra MLB 9 x content that I do off camera. I have Instagram and Reddit, and I post things like memes and a bunch of other fun stuff about the game. Also, if you ever need any help with the game, I'll be more than willing to help you out. So you can do that by leaving a comment and I'll get back to you and see if I can help you as best as I can. But without further ado and moving onward, we'll see you guys, or I'll see you guys next time.